Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at creating the pawn chess piece. Now because of the shape of the pawn chess piece and the fact that it's the same all the way around, I find that the easiest thing to be able to create this with is Cinema 4D's lathe nerbs. So the lathe nerbs can be found up here in the generator section. So if I click and hold, you can see that I now have a lathe nerbs. So if I click, there we go, it appears in the objects manager. Now the lathe nerves is a generator and like all generators they require fuel and the fuel for these generators is splines. So these splines can be found up here and you can use a variety of preset ones or in this instance I'm going to need to make my own. So I'm going to use the pen tool. Okay. Now I just want you to watch for a second, don't follow along. Okay. The temptation when using the pen tool in 3D is to just start drawing Know, my very very basic shape of what I want my lathe to be okay but if you notice Cinema 4D doesn't always interpret what you are doing in the way you expect it okay it's very important therefore that you change your view and in this instance I am going to change my view to one of the side views so either the front view or the right view let's go for the front okay now to use the pen tool you simply click and drag points. Now because of the way that the lathe works it needs to have a center point around the y-axis as that's where it will rotate around. I can fix that a bit later which I probably will. Okay. So to start my lathe if I click it creates my first point. Now in order to get the curvature necessary for the top of the pawn if you click and hold the left mouse button you can see that I now get these handles this allows you to curve the line so that you get a much smoother shape. Now you can see that Cinema 4D is predicting where that curve is going to go. So if I just change that up there, if I don't like the curve, I can change it later. Now I will edit that in a minute. Now I would always recommend before modeling anything, that you look at some form of reference. I myself have an image in front of me, you know, see what you can find, see if you can find something on the internet or if you've got some chess pieces in front of you that you want to look at, that would be really helpful. But you will find that in order to get a decent model, having a reference image in front of you is one of the most important things that you can do. Okay, so there we have it. I'm just going to go up to my move tool and I'm just going to adjust some of these. So on points mode on the left and using the selection tool I can select the points that I want to adjust and then just drag them out and get more of the shape that I am after. Okay so I'm just going to adjust that one a little bit higher. If you want to adjust the tangent handles as they're called if you click the move tool you can adjust those and bring them out. If you hold down shift you can edit them individually, so if you wanted a completely different shape, you can just move those about. Okay. Now, as I said earlier, these center points need to be at zero. Now, my accuracy is not too bad, 0 0.8. So in order to get that exactly at zero, okay, I'm just going to change that to world to ensure that I'm doing this dead on zero. I'm going to take those coordinates, enter in zero and that will now be at its center point. And the same for the bottom. Okay, right now if I just click off. So now if I go back to 3D, and I'm just going to use the shortcut, so I'm just going to press F1. Okay, you can see that I now have the profile in my 3D viewport. Now, in order to make these two talk to each other, um, we need to parent and child the relationship between the two. So I need to take the spline, and as we know, all good fuel goes in generators. So we take the fuel and we drag and drop it into the lathe nerves. And there we have, quite quickly, the 3D pawn that I was after. Now I can edit this shape afterwards because I've still got access to the points of the spline. So if I don't like some of these, I can click and drag and so I can select and I can shrink some things. 
If I turn off the lathe nerves using the little green tick, I can see the line a bit better, spline, sorry. Turn it back on, and then maybe I can kind of see how that's working. If I grab that top one, bring it down, you can see that I now have this pawn shape. Okay, that was quite a quick one. Um, I hope you managed to follow it along. All right, catch you for the next one.